What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we have another Marvel Legends figure on the X-Men animated series VHS box and it's Mystique. So this is another line that I actually am a fan of. I know that it's kind of mixed amongst collectors. Some people like it, some people don't. I do like it. It has its problems of course, but still happy to be getting these and I'm excited for the rest of them. So without any further ado, let's take Mystique out the box and get a better look at her. Okay, so here, wait, she's doing the thing. What the? All right, so here she is out the box, and we have her on the rotating platform. She's looking pretty good. Uh, first impressions are all right. It's not a huge letdown. It's not a hugely impressive thing. First thing, it's kind of glaring to see that hole in the back, but... I mean, it is what it is. I don't really like that. It must be a reuse from some other character that maybe either has a cape attached or something, or maybe like is a flying character, so you can have them in a flight pose. But obviously, none of that applies to Mystique, so it kind of sucks to just have that hole in her back. But aside from that, I do like the sculpt of the figure so far. It looks nice. Um, it was a little hard to get her to stand as she does suffer from the same problem that other female Marvel Legends figure has, and... That's those very wonky, gummy legs that just are very bendy. So let's check out some of her other accessories that she brings. All right, so here she is with Baby Nightcrawler. It's one of the accessories they included that it's a cool thing. I do like the way that they did it. It's kind of cute, but at the same time, I would have preferred another head for Mystique with another expression instead of the Baby Nightcrawler because I don't think I'm going to be using this for anything to be frank you know so let's just take a quicker look at him though as mystique falls over and spins around so he also has some cell shading on him which is like okay cool it's painted pretty good actually the face and the hair it looks nice it's cute he's got those big puffy cheeks but like i said i'm not going to really be displaying her holding this and i would have preferred a different face expression so here she is with the other hands that she brings and she does bring these two guns it's a pistol and then like a bigger assault rifle and they're just kind of blue the same color blue she is it's not too much of a difference in color so i mean they could have added a wash to it or made them slightly different but it is what it is it's cool that they gave us some guns i might repurpose the pistol for morph and keep her with the assault rifle we'll see but yeah, accessories are not bad, but would have preferred a head to Nightcrawler. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Mystique. I think that the cell shading on this figure is a little bit better executed than it is on some of the other ones. It's not overly done. It carries on to the back here. Except this hole here, they should have just used a different piece or covered that up because I hate that she has that. Um, it would have been nice to add a little wash to those skulls she has. And yeah, the color of the face doesn't quite match the arms and legs perfectly, but I think it's good enough. Also, it would have been nice if they could have painted her eyebrows red. It would have matched the animated series more. Aside from that, it's pretty well done. All right, so let's go over the articulation. She can look down this much. It's pretty good. She can't look up too much because her hair does hinder it. She can look to the side well. She could do a full 360 if you needed to. She has a swivel at the chest, works pretty good. Crunch is okay forward, works better back. The arm could do full 360. We have a single bend at the arm, swivel and a hinge at the wrist. Also swivel at the elbow, no swivel at the waist. She can kick up this far. She's got a double bend at the knee. And then the ankle is on a hinge and a rocker as well. It works pretty good. And there's also um, a thigh cut as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The articulation is pretty much standard uh, female Marvel Legends. And I think it's good enough. Just wish she could stand better. For size comparisons, here she is next to Apocalypse. And here she is next to Rogue. Alrighty, so final thoughts on this figure. Uh, so far, I am a fan of this X-Men animated series line. 
some of the cell shading is good, some of it is bad. Well, none of it's good. I mean, some of it is passable, but some of it is really horrible. The choice they made here and the placement seems to make some sense to my eye, kind of how like Wolverines, you can kind of see where the light is coming from. I see that with this figure, while in some other ones, it's more scattered and just kind of like, it's just applied kind of like haphazardly, not really with any type of like focus or direction. So this one is at least a little better. It's on the insides and the parts where it would make sense that shadows are being cast. So I do like that. The sculpt too, it's pretty decent. I'd never had a Mystique before. I wish they would have covered up that hole in the back though and painted her eyebrows red. I also would have preferred a little bit of a wash on those skulls that she brings and even on her hair. Uh, aside from that, the posability is decent enough. It's what you expect from a Marvel Legends figure, from a female Marvel Legends figure anyway. Um, the standing up is the biggest issue for me as you can get it to stand up. It's just going to take a little bit of work. Um, so yeah, overall, I still do really appreciate the figure. It's well executed in a lot of aspects. It's just a little lazy in some others. So I still would recommend you picking it up. Um, that's going to be it for this review. Take care, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want, and peace.